In PowerPoint, you can animate text and objects such as clip art, shapes, pictures, and more. Let's go ahead and add an animation to the picture on slide 2. Just select the picture and then select the animation tab. To add animation to an object on the slide, we'll use the commands in the animations group. Right now, I can see that there is no animation applied to the picture, which is the selected object. Just click the drop down menu to see the animation options we have for this object. If you move your cursor over each option, you can see a live preview of the animation on the slide. We have fade, wipe, and fly in. To select one of the default animations, just click an option to select it. If you don't like one of the available options, you can always choose custom animation from the menu or just click the custom animation button. This opens the custom animation task pane on the right. We can see in the task pane that there is not an animation effect on the object. To add one, click Add Effect. A menu appears with options for entrance, emphasis, exit, and motion path animations. As you move your cursor over each, a sub-menu of animation effects will appear. We have several entrance animations that will change how our object appears on the page and emphasis animation effects that we can use to draw attention to the object. The exit animation effects change the way the object disappears from the slide and motion paths animate the object so it moves to a specific place on the screen. When we move over each of these, we do not see a live preview of the animation on the slide. We have to select an option first to see the animation effect. Each menu has an option to see more effects or more motion paths. So if you want to see more animations, you can just select one of those menu options. Let's just apply one of the entrance animation effects. I would like to try blinds, so I'll just select it. And now I can see the blinds entrance animation on the slide and in the task pane list. I can also see the number one beside the item is related to the label on the slide. Another thing you'll notice is on the slide tab in the task pane on the left. Do you see the star icon on the slide? This appeared when I added the animation. It just indicates that this slide has an animation effect. Now, let's look back at the custom animation task pane. I can see some information about the entrance animation in the task pane. From here, I can modify the default settings on the animation. Right now, the blinds effect is set to start when I click. The blinds animation appears in a horizontal direction, and it appears very fast. I can use the drop-down menu to select an option and change any of these default settings. If you change your mind and decide you don't want this animation effect, just make sure it is selected in the custom animation pane and then click remove. Or, if you change your mind and want to try a different animation, click change and select an entrance, emphasis, exit, or motion option. Here, I'll try this diamond entrance animation. Now that I've selected a new animation effect, new information appears at the top of the custom animation pane. This animation is set to start when I click. I'll change that to with previous, and the label will change from 1 to 0. Since this slide doesn't have an animation that appears before this one, the animation on the picture will begin when the slide appears. I'll change the direction to out and the speed to fast. 
To see how it looks on the slide, you can click play in the task pane to see a preview of the animation or click slideshow to see it in the slideshow view. And then press escape to return to normal view. Take a look at the second part of this lesson to learn more about animating in PowerPoint.